Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. The following program is paid for and presented by Tony Mart Presents. The opinions expressed are not those of Town Square Media or station advertisers. Hey, how's everybody doing? I hope that you are enjoying this fantastic spring weekend. I am uh, here in the hospital in Norway uh, because I became ill on my way to Jazz Fest. But at Jazz Fest, they are really electrifying the world. We spent so many great years down there, and we used to call it the center of the universe. Well, at the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival this year, it absolutely was the center of the universe with a tremendous Rolling Stones concert kicking off the second weekend this past Thursday, May 2nd, and... So many phenomenal shows all around it, including many of the people that regularly, regularly perform for us and will be performing for us this year and years to come. Unfortunately, there are some that have not made it, and we'll talk about them in a minute. But first, let me welcome you to our legacy show, Tony Mart Presents. Music, food, fun, travel. Let the good times roll this Saturday and every Saturday. Well, we are live, but we are not live from where we want to be. But we will have some guests calling in. We're hoping for James Andrews, the great, great performer, the Satchmo of the Ghetto, uh, to come uh, to be able to speak with us. Jim Tuey is down there. He's going to try to check in. And as we approach, as we approach the Mardi Gras in Summers Point, which we're going to be doing in July, July 5th on the beach and July 8th on, at the point, which is, of course, the beautiful Tiki Bar at 998 Bay Avenue in Summers Point. Uh, we're going to have uh, the um, the big uh, weekend festival there at that time. However, I want to thank Chris Coleman before I go any further for the great producer that he is. Uh, I'm, and um, I want to thank all of you for making us uh, the number one talk radio in this time spot. And while we're bragging, we also want to thank you all. We are now leading again in the uh, the contest, the voting contest uh, for the number one outdoor concert venue in the United States. We're talking about, of course, the Atlantic Care concerts on the beach in Summers Point. And last year we won. And we're looking to repeat. And it's very simple. Just go uh, to votesp.com. Votesp.com. We want to thank uh, Mr. Uh, Berman, Mark Berman, for helping us with that last year. And I spoke to him this year, and boom, up it went again. Uh, You can also vote by going to um, the Facebook page for the Summers Point beach concerts. Uh, That's another great way to get everything and get all the updates. Uh, And there are a lot of things happening 
he used to say, life after jazz fest. And that's what this is. And now we're coming up on it. It is really completely amazing uh, that we're going to be doing over 50 things this summer. Uh, and we just added more. We're, we're gathering so much momentum because people love and believe in what we do. The legacy of my father, of Tony Mark, all the great times we've had and all the great times we celebrate every week on that beach in Summers Point, where I thank everyone for uh, allowing Nancy and I to put together this really big group of people who all love and help us. Uh, the Atlantic Care Concerts on the Beach in Summers Point, vote SP. And you can keep voting for us vote every day, vote early and often, and um, uh, help us to get there. 14 concerts, 13 weeks, every Friday night beginning the 14th of June this year, 2024, and the 4th of July. And this year, we have something really special. For the first time ever, we're going to do the Eddie and the Cruisers anniversary party right on the beach, July 4th, Thursday, July 4th. So an incredible thing is happening there. And also, as I mentioned previously, we're going to have the... Um, We call it Mardi Gras in Summer's Point. Uh, the 5th, which is a great time, the 5th of July on a Friday night and the 8th of July on the Monday. Friday night on the beach, Monday from 3 in the afternoon, gumbo, Jersey gumbo. Put that calendar, mark it down on your calendar because we had a great time last year. And there's probably going to be three times as many chefs this year. Greg Lee's won last year. Chef David Goldstein was the Carnival King of Chef Carnival King of Jersey Gumbo last year from the American Culinary Institute. But this year, we've got a lot of people coming in to compete. Beautiful afternoon. Hopefully we get weather. On July 8th, you usually get weather down there in Summers Point. So we want to um, invite you all to that. That's a free festival. No park, uh, free parking. And there's plenty of parking because all the old Tony Mart property there uh, is available for parking. Uh, and then uh, the shows, five shows. The star is one of the greatest Cajun fiddlers in the world and one of the greatest Bourbon Street entertainers. This guy knows how to throw a party, how to party with the people. Waylon Thibodeau from the Bab Benoit, Voice of the Wetlands, All Stars, will be our headliner along with Ben, Ben Levin and Danny Iyer and Howard Isaacson. It's going to be a hell of a New Orleans party. That all happens that weekend, the 5th and the 8th in Summers Point. However, uh, the Summers Point concert series starts on the 14th of July with a really excellent um, Canadian band, New Orleans inspired, kind of funky, um, really excellent large band uh, called Bywater Call, uh, and something we're you know very much getting more and more involved in, the great bands that are doing the classic music that was eh, just a little bit of a half a generation or so uh, after them, but the music and the style of the music is so great. Uh, also, I want to acknowledge 
our dear friend Nick Regine and the South Jersey Bad Society, as they will be doing the first Friday night concert on the beach, along with the committee, our committee, the Summers Point Beach Concert Committee. Uh, but they are uh, giving a beautiful free show, an 18-piece big band. Uh, and that'll start at 7 o'clock that night. And you'll hear a lot more about them. But if you just go to Summers Point Beach Concerts, dot com that's summers point beach concerts dot com or tony mart uh, tony mart dot com you'll see the information and this is our kickoff down on the beach an 18 piece this guy is a um, grammy nominated and this is going to be a really wonderful show and we're happy looking forward to it and we also are looking forward to kicking our gigs off down there because that is going to be a great season in Summer's Point. But getting back to Jazz Fest, and we will we will be getting back to Jazz Fest. There's a lot to talk about. I do want to briefly mention that we've lost three great, great people. The first one, I just want to say, one of the greatest people to ever play at Tony Mart's. Uh, and somebody who is very well known in the world of old style rockabilly and Western swing. Uh, his name was Dwayne Eddy. Uh, and Dwayne Eddy played in Summers Point when there were thousands on a Saturday night cruising around uh, up and down uh, Bay Avenue. And uh, he was. According to my father, the band that brought the most people in and made the most money ever at Tony Marks, Dwayne Eddy from Oklahoma. Uh, and uh, uh, we acknowledge that his family, uh, our um, condolences, and we are definitely going to have a more well-prepared eulogy to talk about him. He was great, and he was one of the golden era artists at Tony March. But getting to Jazz Fest and to the world of great roots music, blues rock, roots rock, uh, all of it, we lost a real great guy uh, this past week. And his name, actually, we lost several. But this was a publisher Many of you knew him, Robert Jr. Whitehall, the publisher of Big City Rhythm and Blues. And if you just go to TonyMart.com, uh, or you see, if you get my blast, or somebody gets my, my blast, the blog I do every week uh, that accompanies this radio show, you'll see a little piece we wrote uh, that basically says, uh, not... Muddy, not Buddy, nobody was a greater friend to the blues than the great Robert Whitehall. He was a great, great buddy. He worked, he gave everything, his foundation, the support he provided, and we are very much uh, uh, in awe of his career and showing our respect we will continue, again, to do that. He didn't quite make it to this Jazz Fest, and neither did I. But I'm hoping and praying that I'm going to be uh, recovering and pushing forward and getting ready to uh, play another day for all of you. And um, I, I want to just uh, talk about New Orleans music right now because um, we lost one of the really great ones. Uh, and by the way, let me mention that Cyril Neville is on the cover of the Jazz Fest, uh, the, the poster and the cover of the Jazz Fest program. And Cyril uh, 
is one of the living heroes, the last of the four Neville brothers who is still performing. And he came and played two phenomenal sets for us last year in Summers Point, first in Atlantic City on Wednesday night, then in Summers Point on Friday night. And as happens in Summers Point, that magic just set all of our hearts aflame. And we were just in the voodoo hands of the great Cyril Neville. His own brother, Aaron Neville, calls him Mr. Soul. And he got his well-deserved. Um, and it was great that he got to perform and do second lines. At 75 years old, he was still doing a great, great job. And that's what this is all about. The dynasties of these families, the uptown rulers, the Treme people. I've been lucky enough to be a part of it and know some of the greatest. And I'm about to introduce to you one of those greats whose family is New Orleans rhythm and blues, whose family is the funk. You know his older brother, Trombone Shorty, and many of you, his younger brother, his younger brother, Trombone Shorty, uh, um, but many of you uh, don't realize that his brother and mentor is the man I'm about to introduce, James Andrews. Where are you at, brother? Yeah. Happy Jazz Fest. Happy Jazz Happy Fest. Jazz. Happy Fest, my friend. Thank you. Wonderful time. I heard that uh, they did a nice thing for uh, Brother Cyril Neville. Uh, oh, yeah, they had a, yeah, they had a wonderful tribute to him. Very nice. He deserves it. Uh, did you see the Stones? Excuse me? Did you see the Rolling Stones? No, no, I didn't see the Stones. We had a, we had a private gig with the convention after the festival, so we was on By Your okay. Road performing. Out in the courtyard. When when is your performance? Was it a uh, is it been gone or what? No, no. Our performance was uh, last Saturday. We performed on the first Saturday of the festival, and we was in the blues tent, and we right. uh, had a phenomenal time introducing our new vinyl album that James Andrews and the Crescent City All Stars to the people at the Jazz Festival in New Orleans. James, James Andrews and the Crescent City All Stars. Crescent right City All Stars. You are Absolutely. a living legacy. You are a living legacy of New Orleans rhythm and blues. Your grandfather was Jesse a great Hill. Rock and, right, Jesse Hill. Hill. And uh, you're yeah. over there. Oop oop a doo. We remember that oop, one. Oop oop a doo. Up here. Oop oop a doo. Oop oop a doo. They call me the most. They call me the most. You're gonna um, uh, you're gonna be doing anything uh, this weekend? I I assume you're gonna be doing shows all over. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we got a gig tomorrow. It's a little festival they got uptown. And we're going to play this little festival, but we had like, uh, we must have had about 20 gigs during the, uh, since the French Quarter <laughs> Festival. Yeah. Holy mackerel. So we did it. Yes. So we did a few second lines in there, down in the Tremaine neighborhood. Now this, um, this sounds like a real collector's piece, a real beautiful piece you put together, this new album. Uh, with, yeah. Uh, Tell us a little bit about it, James. Oh, we put this album together with the Crescent City All-Stars, our longtime band members. And uh, we went in the studio and recorded this album over by Trombone Shorty's studio called Buck Jump Studios in New Orleans. And we went in and uh, created some original music. And we took some uh, old standard songs like... Uh, Put Your Right Foot Forward by the Rebirth Brass Band, and we took uh, Oh Happy Days, the uh, African-American oh. spiritual song. And, uh, I love that. I love and that we song. Added a, 
Yeah, and we added a twist to it. We done it the original way, and we and we added a second part where it sounded like a street parade, like a jazz funeral okay. street parade. Yeah. On all your music, uh, James, we're hoping we're gonna. James and I are up to something. We're gonna try to get yeah. him up, uh, be a part of some of these new free pop ups that Tony March is doing. Uh, maybe in August. Yeah, I would right, love James? to. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, I would love to. How can you guys get? How can people get the music now? Just go uh, to any well, of the people. Yes, people can go to the CrescentCityAllStars.com. dot Crescent com, and that'll City take them to all. Yeah, dot com. Dot com, so, and that'll take you to all the music on all the streaming platforms. It's on all the platforms for streaming. Well, we've been friends now for quite a few years and um, I just love you because you are the real Thank deal. You. you are the, you are the walk, walking, living, breathing legacy of New Orleans. Your brother, uh, Trombone Shorty, is one yeah. of the biggest names, but you are a part of that entire dynasty, whether it's Thank the, you. Baptiste, the Baptiste yeah. or the Neville or, uh, uh, you know, the Andrews brothers and the people who know know how much. I mean, I was in the blues tent with you last year. You crushed yeah. it. Man. You had Thank thousands, you. thousands of people. And what a what a great great show. So looking around yeah, this thank year, you. give us a couple. Oh, of this year, quick, this year was better. This year was better. <laughs> this was this year was better. Every year gets better for us. And plus, we had something to celebrate this year. We had our new website, CrescentCityAllStars.com, and plus, we right. were celebrating this new vinyl album we got, and it's on the streaming services. And uh, we are excited, and we are we're at the moment of momentum with our new music. Well, James, I'm very excited to hear that we might be able to put something together for August. And you know how absolutely. much you love you. You love being here yeah. with us. And I know there's absolutely. lots of people in Jersey that are excited about me talking a little bit about what yeah. can happen in August with uh, yeah. James Andrews. Uh, uh, your quick observations as to anything else you really think uh, uh, that you're uh, you know, you're, you're looking out at. Looks like a great jazz fest this year. Uh, good weather. Oh, well, wonderful. Yeah, the weather was. The weather was. The weather is beautiful, and the city is shining right now. I see. I can feel the people. Everybody feeling good about New Orleans now, and the right. city is shining right now. We're shining. That's beautiful, man. The, that the is sun beautiful. Is shining. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, right, baby. The sun is shining in New Orleans. Sun in New Orleans right now. Enjoy the rest of the jazz fest, James. Yeah, thank Happy you. Jazz thank you. God so bless you, you my friend. Time. We'll be in touch. And thank you. We'll see you at the Jersey Shore. Absolutely, New Jersey. Thank you. And don't forget the CrescentCityAllStars.com. And thank you, my friend, for everything. One love. All That's right. where it's at. Thank you. James Andrews, everybody. Tremendous show. When he does the show, he does the rock and roll. He does uh, the old uh, Bourbon Street, uh, what they call the traditional jazz, the Treme music. He is, of course, a part of the Treme legacy. And we want to thank the fantastic, fantastic James Andrews. And um, we also want to um, uh, thank some other people that are a part of what's happening. You know, down there right now, we've had a lot of the phenomenal performers that are going to be playing for us this summer and have played recently for us. As, as I was saying before, it is clear uh, that the big, expensive, Beach concerts are not on the beach in Atlantic City, but the fabulous free concerts 
a lot of New Orleans rhythm and blues and funk and world-class blues rock and phenomenal Americana. It's so popular and hot these days, and we are right there with it. Are at Mardi Gras on the boardwalk in Summers Point. Excuse me, Mardi Gras on the boardwalk in Atlantic City, which begins on the 24th of June for 11 weeks, thanks to the New Jersey CRDA. And I want to give a special thanks to Marty Small, who did so much, and, and really not just the mayor. He's the mayor, but all the people around him, Howie Mason and the police chief and uh, his office, so many great people uh, make this thing happen. And it's happening. It is an unbelievable line. So many of these groups that you're hearing about. Uh, last week, Almond Betts played the living legacy of the Almond Brothers. And uh, Devin Almond will be on the boardwalk on the 7th of August. And Samantha Fish, who was on there uh, as part of the opening entourage, performing with the Rolling Stones on Thursday, it will be on the boardwalk in Atlantic City on the 28th of August. And, and that's a major, major international touring act. These big acts are coming and playing for free on the boardwalk every Wednesday night. 30 dozen brass bands is coming. And for people who are into the Grateful Dead legacy, one of the greatest guitarists in the world, the great Stanley Jordan will do his tribute to uh, the Grateful Dead and Jerry Garcia. And that's early in the season, I believe on the 10th of, um, but check everything, the 10th of July, I believe that is. Just check everything on TonyMart.com. Uh, and, uh, and you know, we're just going to roll. We have a big new announcement uh, that we also want to make uh, about pop-ups. We're, you know, we're coming together. We have several sponsors, including, of course, the Great Circle Wicker Store, which is our primary sponsor. But there are so many uh, that help us, but a few primary sponsors. And this year we're going to be doing some free shows because of the strength and support, even more than the shows that we're doing. And we want to invite everybody to a kickoff party on Friday the 31st of May, four weeks from now. Uh, it would be a great, uh, a great time right at Josie Kelly's at 8 o'clock at Josie Kelly's. Josie Kelly's is a sponsor of the beach concerts, the Atlanta Care Concerts on the Beach. And remember, the voting is taking place. Now, as we speak, you can vote by going to Summers, votesummerspoint.com. And as I was uh, saying, um, we're going to invite everyone and so our party with our sponsors, Circle Liquor Store, uh, you know, we have so many people who support us, uh, Goldenberg, uh, <coughs> Goldenberg Mackler, Joey Sayag, who does so much for us, uh, Dara Quattrone, and all the Tony Mart All-Stars will be performing Friday night, the 31st, a beautiful way to get together, totally free. Uh, there will be some reserve tables for sponsors uh, who want to uh, uh, to reserve a table by making a hundred dollar donation? But there will be a lot of seats, and we will have a beautiful time. It'll be the Tony Mart All Stars. Danny Iyer will be there. Uh, Bobby uh, Brian Conover will be there, and of course, Rich Megahertz Kurt as well as uh, the uh, old school Jimmy Glenn. We're going to have a good time. We want to see you all at that gig coming up. And there'll be more and more pop-ups. We're going to have, we're open 
to have Jim Tui call in. He's going to do a pop-up show uh, for us. Uh, and I, I do want to um, get back to something that I was about to talk to um, talk about for a quick minute um, when James called in. And um, that is um, the fact that we just lost another one of the great, great um, soul funk, one of the funkiest bass players, fabulous, high voice, dangerous Nick Daniels. He was such a great uh, a cappella, I mean, a, such a, a great um, uh, high-end singer. Uh, that he used to sing uh, over top of Aaron Neville. Uh, in the Neville Brothers, he played with Dr. John, with the Meters, with, with everybody in the historic collection of all the New Orleans music. And he played several times for us in uh, Atlantic City on the boardwalk as part of the Ivan Neville Dumpster Funk Band with um, the great uh, Tony uh, uh, from Dumpster Funk, Nance, uh, Tony Hall, right? Nancy loves Tony Hall, loves Tony Hall, but we lost Nick Daniels, and we want to pay a tribute to him as one of the greatest, greatest. This guy was so funky, so wonderful. You, I mean, you can hear him all over the place. He did hundreds, hundreds of great, recording sessions. God bless you, uh, dangerous Nick Daniels. I really, we really loved you a lot. Well, things are cooking down there in New Orleans, and we'll be cooking some gumbo up here in New Jersey uh, at the point, uh, 998 Bay Avenue, right on Summers Point, where Bay Shores once stood. We're going to have a great Jersey Gumbo Gumbo Festival free, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday the 8th. As I said before, that party starts. Uh, it's the Mardi Gras in July in Summers Point. It, w- it was a r- really great show last year. Friday night on the beach, we had James Andrews, who you just heard. But then... Um, on Monday night, we had it with this gumbo cook-off. So the, the gumbo cook-off is uh, a uh, a tasting and a cook-off and then a party from 3 in the afternoon, five shows, free parking, no cover. It's at the point, the beautiful, beautiful point, uh, tiki bar and restaurant. And last year... We had some awesome gumbo being made. And one of the top contenders that I'm talking about, who may very well be the guy to watch this year, uh, is our good friend and great chef uh, from Smithville Inn, everybody, where you can get a beautiful, beautiful spring experience, fresh from the field to your table. Chef Phil Gunther, how are you? Um, Excuse me. Chef Phil Gormley, how are you, my friend? Welcome to I'm the show. I'm wonderful, Carmen. How are you feeling today? Good, good. I'm happy to be with you and looking forward to being with you again. And I just want to mention um, all of those new pop-up shows we're going to be doing. Phil and I are talking about doing one maybe on the other side of Labor Day out at Smithville, which is a beautiful place in the... Uh, late summer, but um, you've got beautiful things happening every day over there. I know you're getting your knife sharpened up to make another run at this gumbo king. You could be the next uh, Jersey gumbo uh, Mardi Gras king, but uh, what's going on at Smithville in the meantime? Well, first I'd like to say uh, thank you for having me on. Um, I am looking forward to the gumbo competition, and to your point, it is a beautiful venue. Uh, we had a lot of fun, and uh, definitely coming for the crown. Uh, I have aspirations to uh, be the gumbo king. So, um, yeah, you're right. And yeah, you're right. 
So, uh, well, you know, um, we, do, we do have some really great things going on here at Smithville. We did the three for 35 for a while, and now we're uh, moving on to different things. So on Wednesday nights, we're doing a uh, ladies' night. So we have really great appetizers, um, you know, lobster mac and cheese. Uh, we have these uh, sashimi tacos with a jicama shell, so a uh, nice gluten-free option. And, um, you know, all of our um, bar fare that we do for happy hour from 5 to 8 p.m. Uh, we have lamb rack, uh, uh, two little racks of lamb and things of that nature. So really good value. Sounds good. And it comes with a flight of drinks as well. So you can order your flight of drinks. There's three different cocktails of your choice. Um, Kim and Russell, they made a really nice menu for that. And, um, you know, applicable to spring with fresh fruit and things of that nature. So, And then Thursday nights we have date night to bring out the couples. So some nice meals there as well. Sounds good. What are the uh, regular dining times on that? So um, I believe, I want to say it starts at 4 for the uh, the date night um, and then until close. And it's $42 a person, three courses. You get to choose one of our premium desserts. And, um, you know, Filet Oscar I had on there last week, and it will change weekly. Uh, what else? I had a shrimp primavera with a nice light lemon cream sauce. And um, I had one more. I can't remember off the top of my head. My wife Nancy is smiling when she heard that one. That sounds really good. You, you have that tremendous apple vanilla ice cream, caramel. What do you call that? That like a phyllo that you make. Oh yeah, apple phyllo. Right, right. That's a that that's worth the price of admission, right there. I'm I'm really uh, proud, Jeff, that uh, I you know I have a relationship with Commander's Palace. Bobby Brennan is a friend of mine. And we talked to her about, you know, we, we should feature something about Commander's with this big event where the uh, the Rolling Stones have just played uh, at the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. And damn, if didn't Mick Jagger himself go to Commander's Palace and have dinner eating the same things that they make for us all the time. It's, it's a great life and a great way to be able to enjoy yourself. Uh, and I know that you're going to have a really nice um, late spring, early summer venue, a, a menu coming out as well, right? We'll be adding yeah. some real great things. So we went to the drawing board. We have a big list of things that we want to change, um, you know, but we have to be careful because a lot of the menu items we have now are fan favorites, you know, so um, right. pot pie, obviously. Uh, the tuna dish, we, we mill over, but that's very, very popular, the tuna dish. So, um, but we're going to try and see if we can do something different. Now, Chef, tell me, how are you going to come out, come out these guys at uh, Jersey Gumba on July 8th? Um, so I haven't decided yet. I could go all out like I did last year with the uh, fried alligator, or I could go more traditional, um, like how um, the chefs at the ACF did. They were very traditional, and they had made a very solid, very good gumbo, great roux. Um, so, you know, I think that's the biggest um, component is to make sure you have a nice dark roux because that really lends to the nuttiness and the flavor, the overall flavor. Um, and, you know, I could go seafood like uh, resorts went, or I could go meat like how I went last year. It's, uh, there's a lot of ways you can make gumbo, uh, seemingly. You, you and resorts both had tremendous gumbos last year. We were very fortunate. And we're going to have more competitors this year. It's going to be a hell of a good time. We're looking forward to having you. And um, I want to tell everybody that your fabulous dining is available is seven days a week? Yes, yep, seven days a week um, till 9 p.m., uh, 11.30 to 9 p.m. Without a doubt, one of the great fine dining experiences in South Jersey because of the man I'm talking to right here. Just call Smithville 
it's, it's hard to get a reservation because it's so popular. Uh, but um, your, your people usually can take care of people uh, somehow. Uh, what's the phone number for that, Phil? It's 609-652-7777. Right, or they can go to one of the websites, right? Yeah, um, Open Table takes a lot of our reservations, and it's uh, very convenient. Right. Got it. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you. Nancy and I will come out and see you in the next few weeks, uh, and we will uh, get ready for Jersey Gumbo. And we'll have to have yeah. you back on now. Uh, let me know when the uh, uh, when the new menus come out, and uh, we'll get you on here to trade a little, trade a few barbs with your competitors that are coming in to make gumbo. All right, my friend. <laughs> it sounds great. Yeah, about um, right after Mother's Day, the new menu should come out, and I do look forward to seeing you. Um, you know, and uh, take care. Thank you very much. I want to see you too, my friend. God bless you. Thank you. I'm so happy to have you keeping the good times rolling and doing all these great things. Good luck and uh, have a great spring. And happy Mother's Day next week. I'm sure that things will be cooking over there for Mother's Day. Yeah, very busy. Very busy on Mother's Day. Thank you, Phil. Chef Phil, formerly from the great Smithville Inn. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Phil. Okay, up. Oh, we got something live from New Orleans coming in, Jim Tui. Go ahead, Tui. What do you got? All right. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Carmen. How you doing, man? Hey, Carmen. Hey, man. We're jamming here at the Jazz Fest. It's a beautiful day down here. There's some nice cloud cover, bright sunshine. Neil Young is closing the show tonight. Uh, Sonny Landreth in the Blues tent, uh, Samara Joy in the in the uh, jazz tent, and lots of great music out here today. Uh, famous Cajun band Beau Soleil is celebrating their uh, 50th anniversary, and we're going to see your boy Glenn David Andrews in the Blues tent do his dynamic show today. So it's a lot of fun. We wish you were here. You know, Tilly, we're bringing up um, Chief Monk Boudreaux. Son, uh, 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 Joseph, uh, um, uh, I'm going to get a chance to catch him. Have you, have you seen him? Are you going to see him? Not yet. No, I haven't. Seen, no, I haven't. Not yet. Uh, uh, yesterday, uh, 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 yesterday we saw um, we we saw uh, Cyril Neville and. Uh, and uh, you know he, they're celebrating a big anniversary for him. And they named it. They named one of the streets down here. They renamed one of the streets Art Neville Way. So uh, down where the, Neville's mother used to live, uh, I forget the name of the street right now. But they named a section of it, and they had a brass band down there, and some of the Neville family was there. So it was a lot of fun. But we're looking forward to everything that you're bringing this summer, Carmen. I know you're bringing the little New Orleans up to South Jersey. And uh, we're bringing a lot of New Orleans. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And I know Johnny Sansone's out here today, too. John, your boy Johnny Sansone's out here today, too. So we'll see him in the blue stand also. I talked to Johnny, and he said, uh, Carmen, I'm a little busy. I'm playing the blue stand. I wanted him to hit you. Uh, but right. Please make sure you go see Johnny and tell him you said we love him. And, uh, I sure will. We got one more day after today. We're going to party up here. We're going to see Trombone Shorty, Power Power, Earth, Wind, and Fire. A lot of good bands out here tomorrow. Uh, we love you and Nancy, and we thank you again for everything you do. And we'll see you in South Jersey. And let the good times roll, my brother man. You are at the center of the universe. God bless you. All right, Happy day. All right. Well, we go from the serenity of Smithville to the craziness of Jazz Fest. It was very, um, I want to again hearken upon this point that is an important point for us to make about, um, 
the fact that these great bands who are some of the most popular in the world and you would pay so much money to see them uh, are going to be playing free gigs uh, on the uh, boardwalk and the beach this summer. Grammy nominated Joseph Boudreau, Chief Joseph Boudreau Jr. Uh, that's Monk Boudreau's son. is playing with the Ramble, a really intense New Orleans rhythm and blues, funk, hip-hop gig. Uh, and they're playing at the fairgrounds this weekend. And they're playing a gig on the boardwalk for us, free, again, in Atlantic City, 11 Wednesday nights across the board. And um, that's um, due to the uh, support of the New Jersey State PRDA and the work done to support us. Tony Mark presents in order to obtain the grant to do that show. That is going to be an awesome, awesome show. Uh, and uh, I, I really uh, expect it to be, uh, you know, just a whole summer of these free, like I said, that you don't have to pay thousands of dollars and cram in and all of that. Just come up to the boardwalk on a beautiful night. I mean, it's crowded, but it's not that crowded. Bring your dancing shoes. Bring your festival chairs. We have the Tony Mart Hairs Cafe, thanks to Circle Liquor Store, our sponsor. And it'll be kicking, starting with the great, one of the greatest young, uh, what you'd call like a, a roots rock jam band, the piano from Savannah, the great uh, um, Victor Wainwright and the train. He will be uh, performing for us opening night in Atlantic City. Uh, that's the 26th of June. But so much from the Jazz Fest coming to Atlantic City. As I said before, Samantha Fish was there with the Stones. He'll be on the boardwalk. Devin Allman was there last weekend. He'll be on the boardwalk. And Dirty Dozen played two gigs at Jazz Fest. They will be up in Summers Point. Uh, and um, the Radiators closed the show as one of the major headliners, one of the greatest groups in the history of New Orleans. And their lead guitarist, singer Dave Malone, will be the headliner star of the Tony Mart Legacy Last Waltz show. As I was saying to my brother, it's the top of the top that we've ever gotten to when we have shows of that incredible caliber on the boardwalk in Atlantic city. And I, I really want to um, thank circle liquor store. We have a lot of fun coming up with circle liquor store because um, we're going to be doing this thing. And uh, we call this thing phantom red and funky. Phantom Blues. Phantom Red and Funky Phantom Blues. Phantom Blues Band, one of the greatest in the world. Um, I can go on and on about how great they are. They're Taj Mahal Band, Taj Mahal's Band. They've been the Blues Brothers Band. They've been uh, C.V. Ray Vaughan, B.B. King. They've been with all the greatest in history. And they're coming to do two special shows on the 17th and the 19th of July. And those shows happen to be hitting when we're going to be uh, presenting the wonderful uh, Phantom Red Blend and Phantom Chardonnay. So we're going to have a good time, especially on the boardwalk where we have the cafe and we'll be doing Phantom Red and Funky Phantom Blues, and that will be at um, the uh, Kennedy Plaza on the boardwalk in Atlantic City on uh, the 17th of July, a great, great time of the year. And Circle Wicker 
has an incredible array of sparkling wines <clears throat> for mom with Mother Day, Mother's Day coming up. The, the beautiful light Prosecco's, <clears throat> the light but dry Cava's or French sparkling wines, beautiful uh, sparkling rosés. <clears throat> uh, Chet told me to invite you to stop by and look at a huge array. Just tell them what you're looking for. They'll recommend some things. And they have so much there that whatever you want, they have it in an array of prices and different um, different varieties. It's really an amazing place. And also this time of, um, time of the year, it's um, wonderful to uh, check out the uh, uh, the spring ales and the lighter beers. Now the citrus beers and the vice beers all start to come out. And uh, this is um, a part of Circle Liquor Store. They do so much for everybody. Every day they are open from 9 a.m. To 10 p.m., uh, seven days a week. And they've got great, hospitable people there. The staff is really wonderful. And we love having them. We are so grateful to them for being uh, such a, uh, a great sponsor. As I said, we have a powerful group of sponsors. I don't want you to forget uh, Figas. What are Figas? Uh, FIGAs are fixed income guaranteed annuities. And the man that has them is a man named Rich Gerber. And he is one of our sponsors. <clears throat> we have very few, but very mighty sponsors. Circle Wicker Store, Rich Gerber, and just a few more. And I want to thank Rich Gerber. Uh, he'll be coming up. Uh, but you want to contact him directly. Because he will take the time to go through with you uh, what we were, what we call the um, uh, FIGAs, the fixed income guaranteed annuities. Right now, it seems clear that uh, uh, the Fed is going to keep the rates up a little bit, so you can lock into these instruments that will pay you very nice returns uh, for quite a while. But, you know, the thing with, with Rich is he'll sit with you. He'll have a cup of coffee, a glass of wine. He'll hang out with you. He'll talk to you about you and your family, your needs, the variety of products that are available to suit those needs. He's a great guy and a really great source of information. Uh, 653-9101. That's Rich Gerber, 609-653-9101. Right on. Central Avenue in Lynn, who is very conveniently located. Well, on behalf of everybody at the Tony Mart family, we want to thank everyone. We're looking forward to an awesome season starting almost four weeks from now uh, at the Josie Kelly's, and we'll be doing the first of the new pop ups, free concerts with the Tony Mart All Stars, Danny Iyer, and um, We'll be looking for everybody to come. Those are free shows at Josie Kelly's Public House. Eight o'clock start. Nancy and I will be there. Looking forward to seeing everyone and greeting you all and inviting you to come and do all the great things we're going to do together as we start the Beach Concert Series and Mardi Gras on the Boardwalk and Jersey Gumbo. And all. don't forget... Rocking the Point every Thursday night at The Point, the beautiful Tiki Bar, The Point. So let's get ready to rock and roll. And uh, my wife and I are here saying we love you, and we're looking forward to seeing everyone. And let's uh, get on roll. The preceding program was paid for and presented by Tony Mart Presents. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early 
so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.